So what's up everyone, it's Jimbo back for another cheaper versus cheap, I don't know. Anyway, today we're gonna be uh, demoing two different products to see which one will perform better for when you're looking, say if you're a professional detailer and you're in a pinch, need to run down to the local auto parts store, or if you're an at-home enthusiast and you're looking at that wall of product, which one is gonna be the best fit for you? So today is pretty crazy. We're gonna be doing a pretty crazy video and I'm a little nervous for the outcome, but I know both these products are pretty good so uh, let's take a look at them so on one hand we have Meguiar's fast finish which has easily become one of the best sealants on the market and I know that it's a consumer grade product but it's phenomenal and as we've seen in previous videos it's really held up to the test now we on the other on the flip side we have this this is turtle wax ice spray wax now I know what you're saying right off the bat this is a sealant this is a wax this is not comparable however it's more more comparable than you think because when I put this turtle wax uh, spray wax and it says it has smart shield technology it builds layers of shine and protection when I put it on the panel and beat it up it held up extremely well so if you of you have asked hey why don't you compare it to fast finish so again fast finish fast finish is very inexpensive at about I think it's eight dollars on Amazon eight or nine dollars and turtle wax the ice spray wax is around the eleven I think it was for 20 ounces. This is an, and now it's a spray and aerosol. So this is about eight and a half ounces. So fair, uh, actually this is gonna be much cheaper actually. So what I wanna do is spray it on the panel, beat it up a little bit and see which one of these will hold up the best. Let's get started. Let's have some fun. So on this, your left side. I'm gonna do the Meguiar's fast finish and I'm actually gonna spray it on an applicator. I'm trying not to contaminate either side. So I'm actually gonna use the gray side with the fast finish. And again, what I love about this is doesn't recommend a cure time. That was even a lot of product on there. It's getting cooler today. So as I have to do these kind of later in the day, so there's that and as you can see with the fast finish it's very easy to apply it starts to flash I actually put a little too much on there and then you can remove it very very slick one of my favorite attributes of the fast finish um, is how slick it makes the surface right after application so there's that okay and then what I'm gonna do is come over to the other side, use the flip side of the applicator, choose a different towel to wipe it off with. Put that there. I'll move this over to this side. And though this isn't the way you have to apply uh, the spray wax, uh, it's how I'm gonna do it again to try to help with contamination. So I'm gonna use the blue side. I'm gonna do a few, load up the applicator and apply it like that. Actually doesn't like it as much that way. Traditionally what I would do is just spray it directly on the panel. And I was, man, you talk about shock factor. I was blown away at how well this spray wax held up. I was, like I said in, in a previous video, I was not expecting a turtle wax product to hold up as well as it did. Um, so then I thought, of course, I wanna break products. That's, that's kind of what I like to do. So let's break it. So compared to the fast finish, the wipe off is very, very similar. What I realized in that, last video was that it seemed to hang around the panel a little bit or, or be streaky a little bit so i uh just switched up towels so all right so now and this is what's going to be cool is there's virtually zero cure time on either one of these products so what i'm going to do is go directly into go directly into the water the water test so let's see what it looks like again no eight hour cure time for a product to break down let's see let me get my hose right 
And let's look at the water beading behavior. Fast finish, nothing, and spray wax, ice spray wax. So you can see quite a bit difference. Uh, they're both on there really well. The, the fast finish is, has a little bit more water beading, whereas the spray wax is doing the water sheeting thing, not quite beading as much. But you can see at the rate that it's repelling compared to the bare clear coat. Uh, and look at the difference right there. The fast finish is beading up. The spray wax, again, you can kind of doctor this water behavior deal. Um, got a little bit too much pressure going on in the hose. Uh, so anyway, you could see the difference. Less water on the panel with the spray wax, but again, these are two very, very easy products to, um, to apply. So let's see what happens. Uh, initially, I like the uh, fast finish beading more. And as we can see, both are considerably better than that bare clear coat. So let's, and for those of you wondering, the panel's been stripped, compounded, redone. The, uh, this paint has to be giving, giving out at some point. So, we go with the Adams iron remover, and this is how I'm finding creative ways to use up the products that I test. That, here's the towel here, let's rub it in. So this is Adams iron remover, which we've seen strip a Sonax Profiline. Um, we've seen it strip a couple other, a couple other products just an iron remover which is still insane to me and let's see if it changes the behavior again I did not let these products quote-unquote cure and the reason why I didn't do that is simply because it didn't say to so let's rinse that off let's rinse it off and then I'm actually gonna have a bucket of a uh, Optimum no rinse over here. So, with the bu bucket of optimum no rinse. I mean, my, the thing I'm thinking is, man, Adam's iron remover is intense. So, you can still see it on the surface. I mean, both those products have taken a big beating. Let me, uh, I can never figure out this stupid hose. There we go. So there's that, rinse it off. Let me take my optimum no rinse and clean anything off, any remaining residue. The benefit to a no rinse product is you don't have to rinse it. So I can, uh, think that'll be good enough right there. Let me grab a new drying towel. It's getting, getting kind of cold out here cold it's probably 65 60 degrees maybe I don't know cold enough huh so again the what I like about both these products is the ease of application and the ease of application is what I really want to see in a product because if a product is easy to apply you will use it more often and more often is the name of the game. So both of these can be applied. Um, let's see if I can get an accurate. Both of these can get applied while you're drying. Well, not really while you're drying the car. The ice spray wax could, but not the fast finish. So let's see here. So we've lost a little bit of the beading on the uh, Meguiar side. The turtle wax, still really hard to tell. Let's see if I doctor my hose up a little bit. So we're still getting the same, the same effect. Still sheeting fairly rapidly. The water behavior has definitely changed on the fast finish. Let me uh, switch up my nozzle here. 
So we've definitely seen a change in water behavior simply from the iron remover, which is a very interesting thing to note. So let me see as I switch up my nozzle and if I could change the water behavior a little bit to see if we can get any water beating at all. Let's see this. Yeah, I've got a leak here. Sprung a leak. So let's look at it like that and see where we're at. Same thing. So uh, definitely sheeting water at a more rapid rate. The beads have completely changed except for on the fringe fridge, fringe edges where the water is kind of hitting at a certain angle. But if you go at it like that, those panels are pretty flat. Pretty flat just with an iron remover and I think that might have summed up the video right there. But for fun, let's hit it with black magic bleach white, basically an APC to see if we get any change in water behavior. Crazy that Adams' iron remover does that. Very, very crazy. It must be a very aggressive cleaner. So let's look at that and let's see if the behavior if it's if it's trying to eat away at the all-purpose cleaner at all it doesn't quite look like it I don't know why the ice spray wax did so well in the last video compared to this video it actually held up a lot better than that Sonax profiline I guess the optimum no rinse could be holding could be hiding something that is the only thing I switched up on this one so maybe what I'll do actually on this one is just get a wet towel and wipe it with a wet towel I guess the the no rinse could I don't think it is to be honest but it it could be hiding something so let me uh, let me rinse this off and I'll get a wet towel going as well So as you can see now, that plant panel is really flat. And I may have knocked it off with just the iron remover. Let me get a towel, get this blue one and just make this a dedicated wet towel. I can, I'll wipe it all off. But now you can even see that, that all purpose cleaner definitely took it off. I mean, you could see, I see some residue, but it, I think there you could see that it did, it, it got severely beat up from the iron remover. However, it was there a little bit compared to when we hit it with that all-purpose cleaner. This is just a wet towel, nothing on it. I want to try to get off any O&R or anything like that to really give an accurate read on this panel, but I think we've concluded the test there. Let me get my drying towel. Dry that off. And, and we'll look, re look at it, see if we can get any water beating. Because I guess I should be careful when I'm playing with two products that I've already done videos on and then introduce a third fringe factor like the Optimum No Rinse. <laughs> but that's me just wanting to play. So, all right, let's see the water behavior. So pretty flat, the water is uh, very hard to tell. Very, very hard to tell because it looks, I think it got killed after that iron remover to be honest. Looks pretty flat to me. It looks pretty even across the board. A, a little bit quicker, uh, but not much to really say anything. I think that iron remover really did it, did it some, did it some damage. I don't know, pretty hard to tell. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it got killed? Did the fast finish spray wax, did it kind of hold up the same? How could I have changed this test and did it better uh, to, to get better results? Let me know what you guys think. Either way, I still like both of these products. I, I was hoping that it'd hold up a little bit better, but it is what it is. That's what's fun about these real, real world tests is sometimes you learn an, an item like Adam's iron remover is a little bit gnarlier than you originally thought. Hope you guys will subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.